Hi everyone, and welcome to this week's trending video game news. This week, we look at one of the biggest cybersecurity scares in the world. We also look at something very new from Nintendo. We look at some of the Australian eSports events coming up. And lastly, we revisit a story from last week. Hi everyone, it's Paulie here for this week's Trending Gaming News by General Gaming. Links for today's story can be found in the description section below. So if you haven't already heard, one of the biggest cyber security breaches ever was reported approximately two weeks ago. Dubbed Meltdown and Spectre, these two vulnerabilities can steal data from people's devices. While mainly affecting Intel chips, they can affect other devices such as ARM and AMD CPUs. Intel and other companies have released recent software patches which should overcome these vulnerabilities. You can read more in the ABC article below. Next, the Nintendo Switch. If you haven't already got one, I recommend you buy one now. Apart from the reduction in price, the Nintendo Switch has also had a number of updates over the past few months, enabling players to be able to save and stream their gameplay. Furthermore, Nintendo has just released the Nintendo Labo. Get ready to make, play and discover with the Labo. It's a new line of interactive play and build experiences that essentially use cardboard and it's almost like a kid's version of 3D printing. Be sure to check it out. The 2018 eSports calendar for Australia is packed. There's a huge number of events across the country. Now two in particular I'd like to mention is RF Land 60 in Perth, Founded in the year 2000 by three local gamers, Red Flag Land Fest, or RF Land, is Perth's largest cyber athletics tournament. RF Land 59, held back in September 2017, had over 800 gamers. You can watch our video from RF Land 59 up here. RTX Sydney is held on the 3rd and 4th of February at the Sydney Convention Centre. This massive two-day gaming and internet culture event gives fans and gamers a great way to learn about the gaming industry, see all the latest games and learn about the newest tech. Last week we reported on eSports and how in 2017 it absolutely grew quicker than ever before. Well, Shinzo Abe, the Japanese Prime Minister, has announced that he'd like to introduce gaming to the Olympics for 2024. Already, this summer's Asian Games in Jakarta, Indonesia, will hold exhibition esports tournaments along swimming, soccer, track and field. And in 2020's Asian Games, video gaming will be a sport that will be awarded with medals. Well, that's this week's trending video game news stories. Before we go, I would like to mention that we do have some new content which is coming out. Last week we launched our pilot of our new series, Game Talk. I encourage you to go see it. We discuss different gaming topics from week to week and our general gaming challenge series where gamers head off against each other in different gaming challenges will be back soon. Once again, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked the video and I hope you have a lag-free gaming experience. See you next time.